Hey guys, so last year for my birthday, my girlfriend bought me this really cool five gallon UN Systems rimless tank. And probably like a lot of other people, after being stuck inside for so long during COVID lockdowns, I became obsessed with the idea of creating my very own piece of nature to display inside my apartment. But I just couldn't decide on what direction to go. On one hand, I've always loved saltwater reef tanks specifically how the coral beautifully fluoresces under UV blacklight. I felt that this bioluminescent quality could create a spectacular tank to display in my apartment at night. But on the other hand, I've always wanted to have a bioactive dart frog vivarium filled with beautifully bright colored plants and flowers, of course the frogs. So this would create a beautiful daytime display. See, this is where I was torn. I felt like I needed to decide between a daytime or a nighttime display tank. Then I saw the trailer for the new Avatar movie and it really got me wondering, could it be possible to create a bioactive tropical vivarium that would naturally bioluminesce at night, just like Pandora? Could something like this be possible? You see, to me, that would be the ultimate display tank. So I started doing some research and what I found was really exciting. So my first step was to take an inventory of typical vivarium decorations, plants, and inhabitants, and determine how many, if any, could be made to naturally bioluminesce at night. See, my requirements were simple, but they were strict. Everything being introduced to this vivarium must fluoresce under the same wavelength of UV black light used in the enclosure. In this case, it would be 365 nanometers. With the exception of the natural rocks used for decoration, Everything added must be alive, growing, and everything must fluoresce naturally, without the aid of paints, dyes, or unnatural chemicals. Nothing plastic or hokey. I wanted all of the bioluminescence displayed to come directly from nature, just like Pandora. So I went on Amazon, and I bought this 365 nanometer flashlight, and I started researching the first, and what I felt would be the easiest part of this build, the rocks. I tested a few rocks I found locally with no luck, until I remembered a small mineral collection I had been using for my lapidary work, and I struck gold. Of the 24 samples, there were two in the box that fluoresced. The first was fluorite, it fluoresces a beautiful ghostly green color, and the second was ruby and feldspar, which fluoresces a bright magenta. These are just stunning in person. So my initial success was extremely encouraging, and after a bit of internet sleuthing, I learned that there are literally dozens of minerals that fluoresce, just about every color of the rainbow. A couple of my favorites are euperlite, which resembles hot lava rocks, and williamite, which glows a beautiful neon green and orange. So this has me very confident that my vivarium can have plenty of rock choices, so now it was time to move on to the more difficult challenge of trying to find plants that glow. My first clue was this article I found that suggests there are at least a couple species of lichen that fluoresce under UV light. Lichens are actually a symbiotic relationship between an algae and a fungus and are commonly found growing on rocks and trees worldwide. The problem is that there are over 18,000 different species of lichen worldwide, with several thousand in North America alone. So I was seriously doubtful I could locate the species in question, especially considering I live in New York City with seriously limited nature at my disposal. But I figured I'd give it a shot anyway, so I grabbed my flashlight and went collecting around my neighborhood. After a quick walk around my neighborhood, I found three potential candidates growing on my neighbor's trees. I knew there were lichens, but I had little confidence that they were of the fluorescent type. So you can imagine my surprise when I discovered that all three not only fluoresced, but all three fluoresced magnificently. This has me believing that either I was extremely lucky or a lot more than just a few species of lichens fluoresce. Probably more like most of them do. The one on the right glows a beautiful purple, the center a bright white, and the left a cyan blue. My camera just can't capture the true brilliance of what these look like in person. And apparently, just like the minerals, lichens are available in a large assortment of color options to choose from. In natural daylight, at least one is a beautiful green, so these will look great both during the day as well as at night. 
So at this point I was starting to get excited. If I had this much luck within a three block radius of my apartment in New York City, I could only imagine what could be found in real nature. So I packed up and took a day trip to the Catskill Mountains and spent an entire day collecting mosses, fungi, and new lichens. So here's a selection of some of the samples I collected. I discovered that my initial impression was incorrect. All lichens do not glow. As a matter of fact, most that I collected upstate don't glow at all. On this plate, I separated those that glow on the right with those that do not glow on the left. And while all appear identical in natural daylight, for some unknown reason, certain types will glow beautifully, while others not at all. I collected an assortment of lichens, mosses, and fungi, displaying some really interesting colors. So my favorite one of this collection is definitely the bright yellow lichen on the bottom. I also like the neon green moss. Uh, I believe it's the sphagnum moss, possibly. That's really nice. Again, um, in in natural, in person, the, the colors are just so much brighter. And uh, the fungus is really interesting. Uh, it's a ghostly greenish blue color in person. It's just really, really amazing. And as you can see, the selection on the left, none of these glow at all and in natural daylight they look identical. So at this point I had some beautiful candidates for rocks, lichens, mosses, and fungi. But what about leafy plants and flowers? Are there any leafy plants that glow? This proved far more difficult. So I tried flowers of all different colors and types and none of them glowed at all which was surprising and extremely disappointing. Then I checked every leafy plant that I could get my hands on and I just couldn't find a single one that would glow. I was ready to give up until just randomly I thought I would try broccoli. It was just pure desperation at this point. And shockingly, it glows a beautiful purple. Why? I have no idea. So this discovery, as useless as it is for my purposes, actually kept me interested long enough to test a few other plants. And after literally testing every plant I could get my hands on, I did find one leafy tropical plant suitable for a vivarium that does indeed glow beautifully. That's this spiderwort. As you can see, it just glows a gorgeous purple. Now, while this is exciting, it was extremely frustrating that after extensive testing, I was only able to find a single suitable leafy plant species for my vivarium. This just wouldn't do. I'm imagining a fully planted, diverse tank full of vining, creeping, and flowering plants, all glowing brightly. While I tested many species, I didn't even come close to testing all of them. Scientists believe there are nearly half a million plant species worldwide, so I'm certain there are probably at least hundreds of species capable of fluorescence yet to be discovered. And after just a little more internet searching, this suspicion is quickly confirmed. It was recently discovered that most species of carnivorous plants fluoresce. Scientists believe that many species of pitcher plant evolved this ability in order to lure insects into their traps. So far, we've discovered countless glowing rocks, lichens, mosses, fungi, flowers, and leafy plants to help us create our own personal Pandoras. But it wouldn't be Pandora without glowing animals, would it? Is something like this possible? Yes, actually. While science has known for a long time now that scorpions can fluoresce brightly under UV light, what they are more recently discovering is that most arachnids also share this ability. So, is this ability to fluoresce limited to only arachnids and insects? Nope. Recently, scientists not only discovered a species of tree frog capable of glowing very brightly under UV light, but later found that every amphibian they later tested also shared the ability. And they now believe that possibly all species of amphibians have this gift. And it's not only amphibians. 
Scientists have discovered at least one species of desert gecko with beautiful multicolored UV fluorescence. And if the amphibian discoveries are any indication, there are likely several more fluorescent gecko species soon to be discovered. They have already identified at least one chameleon species and at least one snake. So we already have several living candidates for a bioluminescent vivarium with likely many more to be discovered soon. So that's my plan for a bioluminescent vivarium. I feel so far I have a solid proof of concept, a sufficient supply of suitable fluorescent moss, fungi, and lichens to at least get started with the build. That said, I'm definitely going to need to find a larger variety of both vining and flowering species to accomplish the final look that I'm imagining. And while I wasn't able to discover everything yet, I'm confident many more species are definitely out there somewhere and only yet need to be discovered. If seeing this finished project is something you're interested in, please consider liking and subscribing. I will be posting future videos of the build once it's complete, as well as maintaining a list of all plants found to be UV reactive in the description. This project will, will require a lot more experimentation with both plants as well as animals, so any advice or suggestions from the community will be greatly appreciated. Please post any suggestions in the comments. Thanks.